While the weather in Rio sometimes changes by the moment, but there are plenty of things to do in Rio regardless of the weather. Churches, beaches, parks, and a couple of iconic spots that are a must-see. But before I reveal those, I'm going to turn to the expert, a woman who has dedicated many years of her life sharing her love for this spectacular place. Come rain or shine with others. My name is Jorginete. I was born in Rio de Janeiro. That's why I am Carioca da Gema. Uh, I've been working uh, with tourism business for more than 25 years, and that's why I love my city. You know, there are icons around the globe, big and small, that are really just statements of us as human beings. They set the tone for a city, a museum, or an overall just general state of mind. Whether you're drinking a glass of rosé under the Eiffel Tower or taking a selfie at the Statue of Liberty, these places, they make up memories and they are forever ingrained in our culture. Well, if you're gonna tackle Rio's big icons, you better put away your fear of heights. So today, I'm tackling Christ the Redeemer and Sugarloaf Mountain. Corcovado in Portuguese means hunchback. Uh, the 710 meters granite peak is located in Tijuca Forest National Park. Corcovado Hills lies just west of uh, the city center, uh, visible from great distance. Everywhere you can see Corcovado. Uh, it is known worldwide for the 38 meters statue of Jesus Christ. Its peak entitled Christ Redeemer or Cristo Redentor. Now there's a variety of ways to get to the Jesus statue, but I took the simple route and just took a car. You can walk it, you can hike it, you can also take a train. What is it about the Christ statue that you like so much? Uh, it's because of the, the panorama view. When you are there, especially during the night, you have, you see our city. You can see our city, uh, the Maracanã. We can see even the sugar loaf. The, we can see the pier and uh, you feel like if you are a bird on the top. That's why I love that. Okay. Janet, tell me about sugarloaf. Well, sugarloaf in Portuguese is, we say pão de açúcar. Pão de açúcar. Yeah. Okay. Pão de açúcar means bread of sugar. Right, sugar so means pão uh, is pão. sugar. Is pão, bread. No. Pão is bread. Okay. And sugar is azuka. Okay. All right. Good. So it's a bread made of sugar. Okay. And has the shape of a pão de açúcar. A loaf of bread. Yeah. How do you get up there? Because there's two mountains. Yeah, two mountains. Okay. The first mount is 200 meters, okay. and the second mount is the double. So, <laughs> okay. So 200 meters for the first one, 400 meters for the second. For the second one. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you are afraid to take the cable car, okay. you can go up to the first mountain. Okay. You can go by a path. Yeah. It takes one hour. Okay. Well, there are many places to see in Rio, but one of my favorite spots is Sugarloaf Mountain. I do have a fear of heights, so today has been a little bit of a mental challenge for me, but I wanted to get up here and show you a look at Rio from above. How special a human icon like Georgia Netsch, educating others on her city and her home, showcasing two city icons like Corcovada, the Christ statue, and Paosuka, Sugarloaf Mountain. You know, this is what makes up the real Rio. People embracing their culture and embracing their icons and people embracing each other with a hug, a smile, a bon dia, a botaji, any iconic way to spread the love in Rio. I'm meteorologist Chuck Heber in the real Rio.